Welcome to Pastor's Chat today. We're looking at Colossians chapter 2 as we look at how to grow spiritually mature in Jesus Christ. Now, maybe you're listening today and you're thinking, goodness, I haven't even got the first page yet. I'm not even sure I'm a Christian. I'm not sure if I even believe in God or not. I'm a broken person. I have so many things in my past. I'm dealing with so many issues. Even today, I'm not sure even what you're talking about. Well, my friend, that's what this book is all about. To know Christ, to live for Christ, to walk in Christ, and to show forth the maturity of a believer who is following Jesus Christ every day. My friend, the real answer, the real answer to your problems, to your brokenness, to your bitterness, to your hurt, to your pain, is Jesus Christ. In Isaiah chapter 53, it says, By His stripes we are healed. Yes, today there is healing. There is, there is a cure for the sin, for the hurt and the pain in your life. And my friend, His name is Jesus. So please listen. Please look in this book with me and take heed to what God could say to us today. You say, how do I get started? Well, the scripture says, and Jesus said, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things so shall be added unto you. Remember, there are two opposing forces in this world. God's goodness and grace and love and mercy and Satan and the spirit of this world who will do all they can with their deceitful lies to deceive you and lead you astray into that which will bring hurt and pain and devastation in your life. Jesus himself said, the thief has come to kill, to steal and destroy, but I have come that you might have life and you might have it more abundantly. Well, that's enough for an introduction. Let's look and see what Paul says as we deal with false philosophies. How do you deal? And that's what he warns. He has three warnings actually in this chapter. And the first one is beware of false philosophies because man's philosophies are so attractive. Man, they give a show of wisdom and intelligence and too often young Christians are beguiled or led astray by these doctrines because they sound so enticing plausible arguments. They make sense. Maybe I should believe that. Well, my friend, what is God's answer? Number one in verse six, therefore, as you have received Christ Jesus, the Lord, so walk in him. How did you receive Christ? The Bible teaches that we receive him by faith. So by faith are we healed. So by faith do we believe. Ephesians chapter 2, 8, and 9. For by grace are you saved through faith, that not of yourselves is the gift of God. You received Him by faith. You believed. You saw with spiritual eyes that He was the only answer to your problem, your sin issue, and you received Him into your heart. If you haven't done that yet, do that today. And then it says walk in Him. How? By faith. And that's why Paul would say to the Corinthians, walk by faith, not by sight not by feeling, not by the enticing philosophies of this world. Walk by faith. You don't have to see it to believe it. You believe it and then you see it and you know that God loves you. Christ died for you and you can trust him. And so walk in Christ as you have received Christ Jesus the Lord. So walk in him. That means you know he's with you. He guides you. He's alongside of you. He is there every step of the way. Walk in Him. Not just walk with Him, but walk in Him. He's in you and you are in Him. And my friend, that's the first step. Now, secondly, grow up in Christ. In verse 7, he says, rooted and built up in Him and established in the faith, just as you were taught, abounding in in thanksgiving. Now we're going to take a little bit more time with that tomorrow. There's so much in that verse we need to unpack. But notice it says, rooted and built up in him, established in the faith. Now how did you receive Christ Jesus the Lord? By faith. Now he says, make sure that you're established in the faith. And that's what we need to do next if we're going to deal with the philosophies, the false philosophies of the world. God bless and have a wonderful day as you trust Christ.